It was really eye-opening. I think last time I came here, we did like a lot of learning about like the different technologies and the apps and stuff we can use. Whereas today, it was so curriculum-based, which was awesome. With something like this, maybe teachers are a little bit frightened, maybe teachers are a little bit scared of some of the concepts. So to have someone who really sits between the technology and the interface of working in a school, that's just invaluable. So Yolanta, absolutely, she's, she wins it for me. She was so helpful, like I was stuck. And within two seconds, she'd thought of something to help me with English and with the short time frame that we have. It's gonna be so helpful for us to have these ready to go lessons for all the curriculum areas, not just English. The conversation that we had when we were sort of sharing our lesson plans ideas and the way that everyone was just sort of jumping in and giving ideas and links between curriculum areas was actually really special. It's great when we get a group of really passionate educators in a room like this because the only thing that's going to happen is that the kids in education is going to benefit. One of the entry points that we use here is we look at the sustainable development goals. This is a really great way as a first entry point. You've already got that automatic, authentic connection to the real world. You know, what do I really want them to achieve? How can I use the technology to enhance that as well? Preparation. We actually break it into two things. Students, what they're expected to know before the lesson and then what teachers are expected to have done before the lesson. Have you got your resources? What do you actually need? The kids need their laptops. Do they need the devices? Where is their cross-curricular learning? Where can you work with other faculties or touch on what others are using as well to really cement that understanding within the students? It's going to be different for every school on how you lesson plan. The way I do it, I break it into three sections, introduction, development, conclusion. And where does this lesson sit in your unit? To give you a bit of an idea, the lesson plan that I've got here is an example, like I said, is a street art one. For me, the learning intention was for them to explore some street art around the world in Adelaide and design and create their own street art pieces. Thank you so much for coming. Bye.